What's up secrets? You should try these top tips, tricks, hacks and hidden features. Let's get straight into it. Make your status pictures a bit more fun by editing them before uploading. Add emojis to your picture. Click on the pen icon and move your finger up and down to select a color. But not many people know that you can actually change the pen thickness by swiping your finger left and right. Watch the circle as I move my finger. Insert your favorite emojis and resize or move them in any direction you like. Most people know that when someone reads a message in WhatsApp, you get double blue tick marks next to the message. In some situations, you really don't want other people to know that you have read their message. So here is how you can read it secretly. Let's say someone sends me a message. Don't open your WhatsApp yet. Instead, go to settings and turn on the airplane mode. Once it's turned on, it switches off your mobile data and Wi-Fi. Now go to WhatsApp and read the message. Once you have read it, go back and turn off the airplane mode. Now even if you get back to read that message again, the other person will not get the blue tick marks as a message read confirmation for that particular message. Awesome, right? You all know that you can send a voice message instead of a text message through WhatsApp. You would normally press and hold the mic button top and release to send the message. It's all good if it's a quick and short message, but what if you wanted to send a long message or decided to cancel halfway through? Simply swipe up on the mic button to record and then either send it or cancel if needed. As you know that message replies in a group chat is seen by everyone within that group. But what if you wanted to respond to a specific message to someone individually during the group conversation? Just press and hold on that person's message and click on more and select reply privately. And just type in the message and send it to that person and no one else within that group will know about it. Some people have the habit of reading over your WhatsApp message notifications. Or if you simply don't want WhatsApp notifications to distract you from doing your work. In such scenarios, you can turn these notifications off. Go to WhatsApp settings, notifications, then turn off the show notifications under message notifications. Now, if you send another message, then there is no notification for that. And you can go to WhatsApp and read it when you get a chance. If you want to find out when was your message delivered and what time it was read by someone, press on the message and click on the info. See that this particular message was delivered yesterday at 23.39 and seen at 23.52. Did you know that you can send a date in WhatsApp and add it in your calendar? Just type in the date, for example, 22nd of March 2020 and send. Just click on the date and you can create an entry in your calendar. Use Siri to send messages through WhatsApp. Send a WhatsApp to MCAM Tech. What do you want to say? Your channel is amazing. Your WhatsApp message to MCAM Tech says your channel is amazing. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. Thank you. From the chat, you can see when was the last person seen. For example, this person was last online today at 7 past 12. But what if you don't want others to know when were you last online on WhatsApp for any reason. You have the option to turn this off. Go to settings and notice the last scene is set to everyone. If you want, 
you can change it to only your contacts. This means only people added in your contacts will be able to see. But if you switch it to nobody, then no one will be able to see. If you go back to your chat, the last seen info is now gone. Keep in mind that other people will not get this info, but you won't be able to see when they were last seen either. You can download Meme straight from chat. Just click on the icon here. Click on the plus. You can see this one is already downloaded, but I have the option to download any of these. Let's say I like this one. Click on it and now it's downloaded. You can now send any of these or add to your favorites. Simply click on it and add to your favorites. And start sending your favorite ones from here. How cool is that? When you have written a text message and think you need to make some changes, did you know that you can double tap to select one word and triple tap to select all? Have you been in a situation when your friends asked for your phone to make a quick call and you wanted to unlock your phone and give it to them but not necessarily want them to check out your WhatsApp messages? If yes, then you may want to turn on additional security on your WhatsApp. Here is how. Go to Settings, Account, Privacy, Screen Lock at the bottom. Click on that. And depending on your phone, you will have the option to turn on Touch ID or Face ID. You do have the option to set it for 1 minute, 15 minutes or 1 hour. So I'm gonna turn on Require Face ID and set immediately. Now if I come out of WhatsApp and reopen it, it will prompt me to authenticate before opening up. Did you know that you can tap and hold on any chat messages to see the preview without actually getting into that chat conversation? You can mark the conversation as read or unread, archive, mute or even delete the chat from here directly. As you know, every new chat message has a default tone like this. If your mobile device is not right in front of you, wouldn't it be good to know that who is sending you the messages by the sound of it? Especially if it's coming from your loved ones. Just assign a custom tone to individual contacts so that you know who is sending you the messages by the sound of it. After setting this tone up for MKM tag, I would know next time I hear a message, I would hear the bell sound just like that. Hey, if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, then comment below and I'll see you in the next one.